Okay everyone, before I start this video, I thought I'd thank everybody for helping me get to my first 100 subscribers. And to celebrate, I'm going to take this shot of tequila. Oh, God. All right, Lisa Frankenstein is a new movie written by Diablo Cody and directed by Zelda Williams, and it stars Catherine Newton and Cole Sprouse. And to get started, I'm going to read to you the premise of this movie because I don't want to go from my memory. A coming-of-age rage story about a teenager and her crush who happens to be a corpse. After a set of horrific circumstances bring him back to life, the two embark on a journey to find love, happiness, and a few missing body parts. Well, there you go. That's a good premise. It describes everything. And I think that this movie is a bit of Frankenstein's monster mixed with some of that Diablo Cody charm that we saw back when she made the movie Juno and Jennifer's Body. I have to say, I really liked Diablo Cody when she first debuted onto the scene. I thought she was very promising. She had an interesting way of writing. I don't know what happened, though, because she seems to have thrown all that goodwill from Juno just right out the window. I, uh, yeah. So let's start with the good. Catherine Newton. She does a pretty good job in this movie. She's a lot like Lydia from uh, Beetlejuice. She's a lot like Wednesday from the Adams Family. She's your goth kind of character. And she does a pretty good job bringing this out. I think she's better in this movie than she was in uh, Ant-Man, but I wouldn't say she's uh, a top-notch actress in any regard. But she does a good job playing this goth character, and I think that she suits this movie pretty well, as best as she can, considering her role is just not well written. Cole Sprouse plays the corpse. He doesn't really get to say a whole lot in this movie. He just makes a whole lot of grunting. But he does pretty decent, I guess. You know, I can't actually find a lot of good things to say about this movie. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, the 80s vibe. The 80s was perfectly well done here. I thought the way they recreated the 80s, the music and the hair and the fashion, that was all quite well done. Definitely high marks on that regard. But other than that, oh, yeah, also, the dad from Stranger Things is in this show. He's Nancy Wheeler's dad on Stranger Things. He's the guy who just seemingly just says, uh-huh, yeah, sure, honey, yeah. And he's playing that almost the exact same character in this movie. That gives me some points. Definitely giving some points for that. I don't know if this guy just lacks range or if they had him act like this because of his character in Stranger Things. But I was pretty excited to see this guy. I was like, oh, he got divorced and he moved to this new neighborhood. Actually, is it possible this is in the Stranger Things world? I don't think so. All right, and now to get to the cons. Uh, mostly everything else. I thought that this movie was just heavy on the campiness and heavy on the cheesiness. I get that Diablo Cody likes writing campy stuff, but... I don't think people like watching it as much as she likes writing it. It just is so corny and cheesy. It has, you know, it doesn't, it's not scary. It's not over the top funny. Uh, I just didn't laugh very much. I wasn't thrilled. I was just thinking, man, I can't wait for them to make a good Frankenstein movie because I'm very interested in that storyline. This movie, I know it wasn't trying to be that, and it sure as hell isn't. It is so far from a good movie that I can't even believe it. This movie is filled with cliches. They have all the cliches you would expect from a horror movie slash high school movie. They have the nonsense stuff going on in the high school that I think we can all agree High school isn't really like this anymore. I mean, I don't know if it ever was, but honestly, this movie feels like it would have been better off in the hands of Tim Burton because it seemed like the director was definitely inspired by Tim Burton's directing. They should have just let this guy direct it because he would have done better. Or maybe they should have called him up. Hey, hey Tim, could you come help me? I'm really struggling with making this goth horror movie interesting and funny. Oh, you're busy? Oh, oh, you're making Beetlejuice. Oh, oh, well, good luck with that. I hope my movie's better than yours. Yeah, they could have called him. It would have helped. And I don't want to get too much into the reality of it all, but this guy's body, the corpse, Cole Sprouse's body, was from the 1800s. How the hell was there anything left inside of his coffin or whatever the hell he was buried in? It should have been dust, bones at the very most. That was just... Something I thought was unrealistic. You know, this guy's been dead since the 1800s. How could she wish him back to the world? He would be a walking skeleton. 
These are things that I think just Tim Burton would have thought of. And why did Diablo Cody write it like this? So in the end, I think this movie is a great rental, but not like one that you pay money for. Maybe like on Freeform or Pluto TV, something where it's like free because you don't want to pay money for this movie. It's just, it sucks. It's just, it's just not very good. Diablo Cody, where have you gone, my girl? Come back. We need you to start writing good stuff. I want a new Juno quality movie. Ah. Anyway, I would give this movie a four out of 10. I just can't recommend it. And I am not gonna give this movie a watch score because even though it sucks and it's not very good and it lacks charisma, charm, and humor and just about everything I wanted from this movie, it didn't bore me. So that is one thing I will say. It kept me entertained throughout. Uh, I was definitely not sad when it ended, but it did not bore me. Therefore, it does not deserve a watch score. But yes, here we go. Lisa Frankenstein. Did you see the movie? Are you planning on seeing it? Did this review help save you some money? If it did, then you should definitely hit like on this video. It'll definitely help me feel like I accomplished something with my day and my life. You know, just a feeling of joy. And if you want to see more things like this, you should subscribe to this channel. And that is everything I have to say for you about this movie and today. Later.